Tala, Crystal McGuire, Shaushi. My tribes are Salets, um, which are part of um, Yamhill, Mawala, and Rogue River. So I'm a part of the Confederate tribes of Salets. Um, language is important to me because it's a part of culture. It's a part of, it, it walks hand in hand with it. If you don't have language, how are you supposed to really delve deep into your, your culture? Um, and that is important to me for our future generations, to know who we are, to keep us out of bad choices, and to um, find that balance again, which um, is important. Chet Patchway, Ink Nosh Manik, Shasquin Nosh, Shepotim Key Rose Miller, Wash Nosh, Kalikitat, Knik, Ku Wasko Knik, Nishaik Shash, Wapto Knik, Ikukutcha, Topnish School District, Topnish High School. I teach the Yakima language at the Topnish High School and we really want to try to revive, revive our language so that our children are speaking. It's hard to make them understand that our language is vital to keeping our tribe and our sovereignty alive. Our language has all of the keys to our ceremonies, our religion, and everything that there is to know about the Confederated Tribes and Bands of the Yakima Nation. Our tribal councils talk about how important language is, but somehow language still gets put to the bottom of the budget. So it's very important that our people understand that our language is tied to our treaty, our language and our ceremonies are tied to our sovereignty, which makes us Native Americans or Indians. We people, the Native American people, are the only ones that have to have a card to prove that we really are Native Americans. Once we lose all our culture, once we lose all our language, the colonizers are going to look at us and say that we're no different from anybody else. So we don't need to be recognized as Native Americans. We don't need to be a sovereign nation and they will dissolve our treaty. So it's really important for our children and even our adult members to know that we have to know our language as well as our ceremonies. <laughs> Um, why is language important to me? Um, for eons now, our people and our languages have evolved to represent the area that they're in and to care and to truly understand your environment, you need to speak the language of that land. Yell Yashta, Seed Stop, Lois Seed Stop, To All Chud. I think it's important to learn our native language. It is a way of identifying ourselves with the earth. It's a way of reaching back in time and be connected with our um, ancestors. It's also identifying us as a people so that someday when um, they say the big man from Washington, D.C. comes along and says, what do you have as a people? Is your identity a history and language intact. So those of us who are fighting for and being the language warrior, 
um, can actually give the answer a yes. Uh, my name is Carly Tex. I'm a Western Mono. Language learning is important to me because my language is a part of my culture. It's unique to my uh, tribe and although there are many things that we can do as Mono people uh, to practice our culture, um, language is, for me, it seems like it's the glue that holds it all together and without it everything falls apart. So um, we're working really hard to prevent it from completely going away and bringing it back to a point of a thriving language. Good afternoon, my name is Winona Ballet. I'm originally from Buckland, Alaska, but I recently moved to Kotzebue. I'm an Inupiaq Eskimo. It's important to keep our language alive because not many people speak it, mostly elders. <laughs> I was going to say something about our culture. We mostly live off the land. We live off beluga, uh, seals, caribou, the berries, plants, and it's important to save all that. Like what if there was something happened in the world and we can't travel nowhere no more and we have to just stay in our stay where we are. There's no way to go anywhere. So it's important to learn all that stuff and pass it down to your kids so it doesn't die off. I am from Smith River. I belong to the Talwa Daini Nation. I've been studying Talwa for two years and I really enjoy it. Um, I want to keep continuing learning it because somebody has to. My language is Nuweyat. I think language is important because I don't want to lose it or to die ever. Paslahel told the great Stephanie Jackson Buena Seeds that Poyala Pops said to all Chad Tacoma. Hello, my name is Stephanie Jackson Buena and I am from the Puyallup tribe. I am from Tacoma. Language would have to be important to me because it's a part of who me and my family and my culture, it's, it's getting lost. I am from the tribe. I am going to show you how to do it. I am I am Jefferson Green. I am very happy to be here and happy to see you all. I am from Warm Springs, uh, is where I grew up, but I'm also part of Nespers, Wasco, and Paiute. My grandmother is Tilla Isu, this is his Indian name, but his name was Perry Green. And my Katla, uh, Iwacha. Sasawai Pam, Verbena Green, um, both of them are Atwai, they had passed away. So I'm very happy to be here. The reason why I study language is because I would like for my family to begin to understand our language and where we're from. 
I believe that we are from Warm Springs, but the origin of our language unites us to where we are originally from, which is not Warm Springs. So my family, we grew up in Tukhbash. We also grew up in the Tanaino Valley, well, and also in Lapwaya, Idaho, along with uh, near the Inchiwana, the Columbia River. And so those are where my people are from. And for the Paiute, they are also from near the Tukhbash area, but probably more Southern Oregon. And our languages talk about where they're from, and the dialects is what relates us to the the original places in which we're from. And it's really neat to begin to understand those dialects all within Ichishkin, how one family may say it this way, but another family says it this way. Well, it's because there's a southern dialect, the central dialect, and a northern dialect, and a western and eastern dialect. More eastern, because we're about far west as we can get. Um, but it allows me to not only understand where I'm from, but the way our people celebrate. So we have songs that talk about how we celebrate, but not only just celebrate, but also understand the life that we live, along with the life that our animals live, and the life that Tamanich lives, the plants. And so we are better able to understand life in general, Anaknesha, that sacred way of being through our language because there's a language for those that are living and there's a language for those that have passed and there's a language for those that are participating in the sacred circles in which we are in. So that's why language um, exists for us and if we do not learn it, then we will continue to remain a lost tribe. Delaha, Shakushi Lubi. My name is Ruby Tuttle. I speak Talua Daini Wayat, and I have been learning for about seven years. I feel it's important to learn language because of my children, and that's actually why I've learned to speak Talua. Um, I married someone who spoke a different and came from a different place than I did, and we knew that it was important for both parents in the home to speak the target language in order for the children to really internalize and be able to speak. So I started learning Talua even though I am not a Talua person. And I have been learning and my children have been learning. It is so important for them to know who they are and where they come from. It gives them base, a base and roots in the ground to help them grow through the rest of their lives. And it also connects them to the people that came before us and it gives them an idea of how our ancestors thought and how their ancestors viewed the world, which is so important because they are now able to see everything that we talk about through the eyes of their language. Um, there are very few speakers of the language left and that is another reason why it is so important for them to learn. However, and if we continue to learn in our families, there will be more and more people. And as we learn in our family and become a Tolva speaking family, other families in our community will do the same. And it will be a revitalization of Tolva language and um, a rekindling of who the Tolva people once were. Mm -hmm.